Hi everybody, welcome back, Mage Dark Ages with me, Sid, and uh, I've done a little bit of building over at the Blood Altar since um, since the live stream. Just marked out the remaining two tiers worth of Blood Altar. I've even stuck the, I've stuck the iron in, I've got so much iron. This is chiseled iron, of course, and it's a gregariously bordered block. I just like the name. Um, and I have let the blaze run for a little while to fill up um, the altar. There we go. It's got 66,000 life points in it. I also have got uh, 37,500 life points in my network at the moment. I don't need all that. But uh, right now, what we are going to do, or the first thing I want to do today, is to start tainting my uh, hungry node. Um, and there's several ways you can do that. You can use bottled taint. Um, you can transport a tainted node near to the hungry node and hope that the taint transfers. Drawback to that, of course, is it taints the area the hungry node is in. Now, most most times that wouldn't be a problem because the hungry node will hopefully be many, many miles or many, many blocks away from your base. And it's bonfire night as well, if you can hear the little crack of uh, fireworks out there and uh, no no doubt at some point you will also hear the dog barking like a lunatic at them because that's what our dog does she she thinks that they're scared of her and they'll run away um so that's got but for me because the hungry node is actually so close to my base i don't want to taint it here so i'm going to do my the third option which is i'm going to move the entire node plus the obsidian box it's in over to a, a tainted biome and with a bit of luck it'll pick up a taint and lose its hungry status and that's the first step in getting that node into a functional state now we need an enhanced teleposition focus for this one because these only do a one by one block above them these do a um, three by three by three and what we are going to do is we're going to drop down here oh it's quiet now you see the, because I've turned the lights on and it's daytime so they are getting enough light in there above light level 12 but they're just so damn noisy I can't be done with that I think uh, named witches is the way forward um, plus I get the fun of naming them which is always entertaining so there's one teleposer and there's two teleposers, and well, there's my boot on, because we always have to have a button. I might even name that button. Um, so, I suppose the first thing we ought to do is head out to the taint biome. Which, this is obviously not the taint biome, but it's not a million miles away over there. Uh, so we'll stick that there. Still got plenty of charge left on it. Whoop. And we do want to put it somewhat into the biome but I do want to avoid taint swarms and those bloody spiders mine spider things uh, I am going to come I think we'll plonk it a uh, bit of sand a bit of sand will do the trick plonk uh, in fact I'm going to bring it up another another block and then we can hear something We'll stick the teleposer on there. This is the target teleposer, and we are going to tag that with the uh, with the hoofer, the enhanced teleposition focus. Right. Let's go back home. I'm going to need to recharge home at some point, but that's not a problem. Um, it's only pearls, after all. And then we're going to head out to the Hungry Node and do the sometimes quite difficult task. So we're going to need to get you on my hotbar. Uh, have I got the... I thought I had one called Node. Mm, if I do, it's hiding. It doesn't matter. Because as soon as we press the button on this, um, the entire five uh three by three block above it is going to vanish oh, unless of course we do that 
and I've not got the... No, come on. Oh, that's, that's fine, I think, because we can do you. We can place that in the teleposer. We can place the, uh, that on the teleposer and gone. Should be. Why? You know work. Why do you know work? It's not bloody working. That's not good. Focus further enhanced in an altar, blah blah blah, bound dimension, yes. Hmm. Interesting. This could put a crimp on things then. Uh grab all of that back and let me use my my taint biome one and get out there then so why is that not working that normally works have they nerfed that there's my telepose oh, yeah that seems fine Hmm. That is interesting. That worked. Unless they've nerfed the ability to move obsidian. I can't think of anything else that we won't be able to move. That was up there. There's the only the node and the obsidian there. So let me swap out to uh, goggles. Let's. I think we're going to have to try an alternative method. That's probably the nastiest switching circle you'll ever see. But what we need to do then is to try and find a tainted node. Um, I'm not seeing one. There's got to be one here. Because is that what, what forms taint biomes as far as my understanding of the mechanism goes anyway. Quite a large taint biome there, so there must be there must be one. Sure, that there. Uh, we are going to need to get my. I was going to say we're going to need to get my thermometer, but I'm not seeing it. Where are you? There you are. Perfect. So let us. Ooh. Die, Taint Swarm, die! Oh crap, I'm going to pick that up if I... Oh yes, I have picked it up quickly. No. Get that in there. Right, let me check this node out quick. Tainted. That's the beastie we want. So, right. With that in mind, let me just outrun this uh, Taint Swarm before they get an, take an interest in me. Um, how do I want to do this? Tell you what, let me have a think about it to get some ender pills as well and uh, to recharge these and I'll be back. All right, the, um, the first thing we're going to have to do, it's going to take a little while, but it's going to, it's going to seem a bit counterintuitive, but we need to kill a whole load of these tank swarms and any of things anything that drops these anything that drops these tainty boy hey 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 tainty particles and then we're going to have to quickly drop them in our bag and the reason for that is we need to get some vitium essence uh, if we look in our bag that one or oh, we haven't even you can't see them in there but that has actually got exchange value. That's even better. Right. To the bat cave. So if they've got exchange value, this is handy because what we can do, if I'm very quick, very, very, very quick, 
is oop, take uh, take that out and pop it in there and learn it and you, yeah you can't see what the actual um, aspects of these these are but um, they do definitely have value in Vitium uh, and just get me one of those get down here and learn that I don't think there was ex they weren't expensive 32 which is brilliant absolutely perfect so we need to do a bit of thorncraft yay um, and we need to make some ethereal blooms so we need shimmer leaves herba precantatio sano and vitium vitium we get from the taint stuff that's easily done uh, sano we can get from potions of regen potions of healing uh, of which we've got quite a few I think we can get it from milk um, splash potions of healing so we've got a few sources of that I'm trying to think how much did we need there 16 per thing I only think we'll need a couple of ethereal blooms now have I do I know shimmer leaf that's the question shimmer yes I do so we've got those so we should be good all things told now what I actually need to do let me just go up here what we need somewhere down near our Thorncraft area is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 of those and hmm, some of that and we need a book don't we how did we make that that was uh, 8 diamonds was it 8 8 diamonds and a in yeah pop that there plop so we're going to stick you in here and then we're going to get a book 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 thank you and once that is done we'll cook the the book book with the eight of those and we'll get a transmutation tablet down near our thorncraft area probably in the center of that little entry call area so it's handy for both that and the alchemy room when we get it built so yeah i'm going to get that done and i will be right back with you all right i think we're um oh coal so i've got this down here this is there for for various reasons uh, let me just use this to fill up those slots grab me a stack of coal and and stick that in there now we will need um, da -da -da. oh god what's it water jars so let's get a bunch of those made nine that's more than adequate it's really useful this uh, thing is that filling up that is that's charging out of my manner isn't it oh that's deeply cool uh let's just unfocus shit on take that up take that off right so we need herbert and precantatio now the, i figure the best source for that is going to be moss cobble because we get one herbert and one precantatio from from that you know just well helps of course if you place it in and not in front of it so that's going to be cooking um we need to pop a jar there and a oh bugger maybe i should have waited until that was full because now we've got herba and terra so if I take, uh, let's just let this run till these are full 32 each and that will give us the thing there. Now on this side we are going to have a pipe here and here and this one requires four items, Herba, uh, Precantatio, Sano. So we're going to have to do this, but we're going to take disconnect there, disconnect there, disconnect there there and there just so we end up with that kind of thing going on that's all fine still so let me just have I got a slot in there just to hide those for now I have perfect 
So once these are at 32, I'll drain them, drain them off, and then we'll just alternate between the, th the three jars that we're going to have. There we go, that's got 32 in it, that's got 32 in it. So we'll take the jar of Herba, pop you there. We'll take our empty jar, pop you there. Um, and that should start draining down. And... The moment it gets Terra, I'll let it fill up to 32. And this is, I mean, this is not a perfect system by any stretch of the imagination. Because we've now got Herb going in here. So I might as well pick these up. So I'm going to use, wherever possible, the potions for the Sano. And I'm going to use the tainted stuff for the Vitium. And once I've got all of that together then we can get on and make the ethereal blooms so yeah i'm gonna be cooking for a while see you all right we're about ready uh the only thing we need is a couple of is it silver no um oh god what the hell were they called i can't remember it's gone la 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 i i blinked obviously the dog is going mad the fireworks are really starting now shimmer leaf uh, sh shimmer leaf. Thank you very much. Just two, I think. Uh, mainly because I only have enough sano for two. So I've got these all locked in. We've got plenty of precantatio, plenty of herba, plenty of vitium. We've got actually got spare vitium and spare precantatio, and this is all the stuff we didn't need. And uh, 33 sano. So that should. Didn't really need that much vitium. It is uh, ironic the Sano was the one that was causing me grief there. But uh, yeah, so this is to contain the taint from the tainted node when we move it. Um, now taint spread is off, but obviously when we move the tainted node, I believe it will taint the chunk it's in. As far as I uh, understand the simple, my simple understanding of the mechanics. So we got one ethereal bloom and very shortly we shall have two ethereal blooms I've also made myself a uh, lower powered right so we don't need that anymore we'll leave those there because they're not necessary and we shall fly let me just check my backpack so we should have two teleposers we should have a standard teleposer focus we should have our boot on, we should have that, we need a couple of blobs of dirt, but that is the least of our worries. Let me turn that off. Go bang bang. Oh, we get a grass of course because we're in silt touch mode. Uh, and we'll fly over to the uh, the node and uh, look at the size of this thing. It's, uh, it is ludicrous, its size. So if we come over to here and if I place one there and one there, they should be safe from the effect of the node with a bit of luck and then we shall place this uh, here uh, let me just back away from that a bit and get you uh, and we want to let me just check you you are plugged in wired and we are off to taintland uh right now where was that node it was over this way wasn't it let's uh, see if we can do this without attracting the attention probably not but you know so we need you oh, i need some blocks any blocks about right yeah there hey back off damn things right so if I just whiz in quickly plop don't know what's behind oh, it's a tree uh, and then we can whiz in again quickly and place that uh, and then whiz in again quickly and place that click it blow it up let my magnet do its work and then get the hell out of here <laughs> i've already poisoned myself twice with that taint 
Uh, and then we should just be able to go back to home. How are you doing? Six charges. Let's get you fully recharged now because we should be done with that. Uh, I don't possibly don't even need to worry about recharging that one. Although I may need to go back and try and find another another taint node. And then we can come over here. And with a bit of luck. Has that eaten my teleposer? You bugger. Well, that's definitely the tainted node, but it ain't tainted that one yet. Oh, crap. Uh, I didn't really want to do that. Uh, get me out. Oh, well, that's only an ender pearl and a bit of gold, so at the end of the day, I'm not worried about it. I don't want you to eat my um, ethereal blooms, though, my friend, because they cost me a little bit. All right. So, yeah, now this is just a waiting game, I'm afraid. Um, until that stops doing this. The moment it stops doing that, we're happy. And it's chunk loaded as well, so uh, it shouldn't take forever. It's a shame it ate that bloody teleposer, though. Oh well, as I say, it's only a bit of gold and uh, an ender pearl. We can soon make another one of those. So we shall place that and that away. Uh, I really do need to um, clear my inventory of some stuff, don't I? Uh, right. Yeah, I'm not sure how long I've been going either. Let me just uh, let me just have a quick peek on there. Fifteen. Let me check how long I've actually been going, because I can't see how long the current re file recording is, and uh, we'll probably do a little bit more. What I may actually start doing is a little bit more of this while I wait for that to taint. So extend these walls out, get the uh, th thing. This guy I, I want to keep. He's a fairly good node just for you know the purpose of being a node. But I'm uh, I'm going to do sort my inventory out, do a little bit of. Uh, housekeeping and uh, I'll be all right well yeah Paul's here um <laughs> he's got some 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 kind of weird effect going on that when he flies it looks like he's hovering on his own flatulence but um yeah it ate the node it also ate uh some of the dirt I managed to rescue the blooms um but he sorted it in a whole 30 seconds and he used this so this is something we're probably going to want to have a play with at a later date this is what he used to well part of what he used to stabilize his node that with a node stabilizer node manipulator up there so if i uh if i whoa hang on let's be careful so yeah this thing here node manipulator and uh it basically took away the hungry status um, but it took a bit of risk because it could have eaten it but anyway thank you very much Paul where, where, wherever you've gone uh, I can't see him he's usually hovering around in a cloud of his own uh, own stench <laughs> fly Mr Skeleton so we've got the the important thing is done um, we can rip all of this down so uh, we'll probably probably want to go and I don't know I did get it that's all right we can uh, um, um, start planning moving the whole uh, node over to things it also ate oh well you know I think I think I was I think I was recording when it ate my uh, did I get everything yeah it looks like I got everything three and four and you too oh, I'm not bothered about the sand so let's uncover the little bad boy here I'm going to leave the obsidian because I think this is still tainted land so I'm going to need to replant the ethereals just to try and clear up the tainted biome um, but that made life distinctly easier distinctly easier um, so thanks Paul that, 
because I was faced with the prospect of moving another node over and uh, <coughs> all of the fun that goes with it. But um, yeah, I'm, I have to say I'm very happy with this node. Um, I, I'm not entirely sh Look, mate. I know it's an impressive node. I know you want to... Uh, uh, go on. Come fly with me. Wait for him to resurface. Of course, that's the only drawback with this spell. If they're over water, they uh, they don't take any damage from the the hoofer. Uh, what I need is a little bit of grass. I mean, more dirt. Did that not? Oh, that's not my dig spell. Duh. Come on, give me. So what we'll do, we'll, we'll fire this guy back into orbit, oh, or not as the case may be. We'll uh, we'll come down underneath here and we'll just plant uh, an ethereal. Hey, this is the only problem with being earth having earth affinity, you sink even when you're flying. But if I just do that and then very, very, very carefully strip out the obsidian from under this node. I don't think my dig spell will destroy it. But, uh, oh man, that is... That is beautiful. It is a sight for sore eyes, that. I mean, just look at that. It is a tainted node. <laughs> oh, well, it's... It's tainted now. <laughs> Oh dear, um, I don't know whether that will work, can we? So we put that back in, let's see. Yeah, I'll just see, it's doing its thing. Uh, so we'll leave that, it takes about 30 seconds apparently. To stabilize a node, maybe with a bit of luck. Uh, I'm not going to put the ethereal blooms down until it's clean, though. Nope, still tainted. Still tainted. Still tainted. I actually didn't get any building done. What I did do is I built this um, an alchemical bag to sort out my never ending storage problems. It's not going yet. Oh, look, 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 hovering on his own farts. <laughs> uh, still tainted. Oh, it's not a problem, we can always energise it. That's um, that's no biggie, but I need to do, uh, do the building and res I think I need, probably need to do the research for that as well. Where's my, uh, where's my Necrotella Communicon? Uh, there we go. Uh, what have we got? We need... Is it this one? It is. We've done the... Oh, no, we don't just need to make it. Um, so it's just a bunch of stuff and uh, a bunch more stuff. So well, I'm going to um, get the wherewithal together to stabilise this, energise this. I need to build a place actually to put it as well. I really don't know where to stick it, um, if you'll pardon the expression. But... We'll leave that doing it, and uh, I'm going to have a think about where we're going to house this node, and I will be back. Okay, um, I'll, before I show you the build I've done, let me, uh, for the thing, I've, we've really progressed uh, much faster than I anticipated uh, this episode. Uh, I need a couple of night or so, we're going to, oh, boom, one, two, three. Uh, we're going to need to cook some of that up and get a couple of glass jars. We also need to get rid of you, you, you and you. Uh, let me just... Yep, all good. So we should have six of each of those, that's fine. Uh, and then torches, six of them. So I'm just shy one two night or for what we need to do here 
Uh, and I'm conscious of time. Need an empty. Oops, that's not going to help, is it? It's in the other one. Three, four, five, six. Bang. Good. Up here, we'll whack in our glowstone. We'll make two night ore. <coughs> Sorry, little, little frog in my throat there. Um, so what we need to make is, now we need to make a node stabilizer for starters. So in that goes. Uh, one and a two. So we've still got a reasonable amount. And using one of the, oh, hang on, before I do that, I need to do that. So using one of those, I also need to get another one of those, actually, thinking about it. We're going to do that, 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 and that to get the no transducer. Um, now, if I just want to have a look, because I saw something um, over at, trying to think where it was. Oh, it was um, Paul's base. How do you make the carpenter's prism slope? I think that's just one of, the, it's just a wedge slope, isn't it? Uh, it's just that. So give me a, give me a redstone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we're out of juice in that one. Okay, uh, give me a block of iron. That should do the trick. Uh, some more redstone. I need four more of those. And I need... Uh, what did I say? A carpenter's... Well, I would have liked a slope, but I'll test settle for three of those and three sticks. One, two, three... Uh, where's oh, I left my wand? I'm, you know that crafting focus is no good if it's not. It's like it's like mobile phones. Um, it's no good if you ain't got it on you. It ain't mobile. Uh, and this is one of one of my little personal bugbears there, shall we say? So if we go down here, this is so. This is. A very small room at the moment, and I may extend out that way, but this area, because of the sheer size of the glow on that hungry node, I decided I was going to stick it down here, out the way. Um, I know it seems odd, but I think it will look nice once it's energised and hiding down here. Now, where are my teleposers? I need my teleposition focus, uh, my boot on. So what we're going to do is we're going to place teleposer there. We're just going to very quickly stick that on the top of it. And we are going to place the no transducer ready just there. And that won't do anything until he's got a redstone signal. So when then just for effect, we're going to drop that in there. And I need a hammer. Hammer. Now, which one is it? Is it? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Come on. There we go. Get one of those going. Now, as I say, that won't do anything without a redstone signal. So at the moment, it's just a decorative block. So we've set that for the home. This is just mana glass that I've gone for the floor. Let us go and bring the node over. I'm going to have to detaint that area, but I'm going to probably detaint this area first. Because if we get over here, just look at this mess. As I say, taint spread is off. So it can't go any further than this chunk. But that doesn't make it... Oh, what? Oh, it's there. You can see, I was like, where's the node? And it's like, oh, it's so big you can't actually see it. Uh, so... I'll tell you what... Uh, let us, oh, that probably wasn't the best idea. Let me just bat that away. Uh, we will st stick another little piece of cobble in there. We'll stick you there. We shall stick you in and we shall go and zap that away. 
and then we can grab all of that and the world can be good and happy now obviously I do want a couple of bits of dirt as well just for my ethereal blooms and as I say I'll clean that that chunk up later but of more concern is stopping this chunk where I've just teleported it from tainting any more than it has to because as you can see it's pretty damn big down there in fact it is so big that you can't see much else but obviously this area is getting tainted so let us get the node stabilizer in so that will do its thing uh, and then where's my crafting focus I just need to make myself a redstone block and then we're going to place that in that should extend and start doing its thing it's going to take a while and you can see this is tainted already but I'm going to wait till it's energized and then I will place down the blocks and the two ethereal blooms and leave those for a while just to uh, tidy this up let's see what we get because this is humongous as I say it seems a bit odd sticking it outside down here but I think given the size of that glow I don't want to be it to be interfering with me any more than it has to uh, yep still you can see the uh, figures are reducing and going down at the same time as it's plastering my my place with well there we go it, it gave up and it is now energized 31 and so on and so forth but all we need to do now, once I've got rid of this stuff, is probably just put that and that down and just let these make sure. Because if we if we look, we're in deep ocean, deep ocean, deep ocean, tainted land. So have I got some rock? Let me just go and stick that was tainted land. That is tainted land. Deep ocean. Deep ocean. Deep ocean. 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 Hup. Ocean. Well, we're good there. This is all ocean. 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 Uh, ocean. Just you need to make uh, so I know which blocks. I need to be checking in which chunk. In fact, if I get the chunk view on, so this and that should not have been tainted because that chunk is the one that can get affected by the taint, I think. If my understanding of all of this is good, which it possibly isn't. Uh, where's my hole? Okay, go up you go. So, yeah, that... Any of this could have been, but I don't think it is. Uh, and possibly around here. I think we are probably... Okay. It might be a little bit out there. Let's get that off. Anyway, so that is our gigantic humongous <coughs> node in place. So I'm just going to let that, that taint clean. I'll move those ethereal blooms once that's done. Uh, and we can seal that off now. We'll need to bring the power from this out. And I'm not sure whether the conduit things will go through glass, but we'll work that one out when we get to it. But that is a pretty good sized energized node right there. So I am not dissatisfied with that so anyway guys thank you very much for watching i appreciate we've probably gone a little bit over but we've uh we've achieved a fair bit and uh we've got our node it's now captive and all is good so until next time i will see you soon and bye for now